One of the most exciting areas of development in life sciences and diagnostics today is the advancement of liquid biopsies. Liquid biopsies are um, simple blood tests done for diagnostic purposes where um, you're looking for biomarkers in um, a simple blood draw. The purpose of these tests includes the following. Um, they can be used for detection of cancer as a screening tool um, in otherwise asymptomatic patients or individuals. Uh, they can be used for uh, therapy selection and treatment optimization in patients who are recently diagnosed with cancer. Um, they can also be used to monitor cancer survivors um, where you're concerned about recurrence, especially in the five years uh, immediately after a patient has been cured of cancer. Uh, liquid biopsy tools also, by extension, have a clear role in drug development. We estimate in the aggregate, the annual revenue market opportunity could approach $130 billion, and that's in the United States alone. Beyond the obvious societal benefits associated with the advancement of liquid biopsy tests, um, the other thing that's exciting is that we're at a very early stage of market development at this point. The application that's furthest along is therapy selection, and at this point, market penetration is only about 5%. Tools that are used for um, recurrence monitoring just started to launch in 2020, and reimbursement only began over the last few months. Asymptomatic multi-cancer screening tools will launch for the first time commercially in 2021. Keeping 2021 in mind and the year ahead, we expect more clinical data, more reimbursement and regulatory progress, and by extension, more market growth and revenue materialization. I'm Doug Shankel, Cowan's Life Science and Diagnostic Tools Analyst.